list, 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 list. Let's make this list, 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 list com. Make a list of um, the index of the fashion list of the, some of the top brands in the world. I want to just quickly w to walk our way through some of these names, right? For some of us that aren't really convinced that some of these names should be where they are at the moment. But let's see what we can do with this. Uh, let's get that bigger here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's get to fit the screen. Transform. Does anyone actually use this? I know I don't. Anyway, I don't. Never ever used it in my in me in my life. But anyway, they make this list of all the top brands for the first quarter. Um, let's take a look at see some of the names that they've mentioned here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boom. So it's a list index two one uh, uh, Q one two thousand nineteen. The list index is a quarterly ranking of fashion's hottest brands and the products. To compile the results, global fashion search platform list analyzes the online shopping behavior of more than five million shoppers a month. Wow, browsing and buying fashion across twelve thousand designers and stores online. Imagine that, man! Twelve thousand designers and stores online. Insane, isn't it? Like what you have to do to break through in fashion. Again, I think the, the, it doesn't get it doesn't get said as much as you know maybe because that's probably the be the benefit of sports. The feedback is immediate, right? You think you're a footballer, you think you're a basketballer, you think you're a baseball player, you think you're um, whatever you think you are, a sportsman, MMA, boxing. The feedback is immediate, right? You get to know right away: am I good enough or not? You get to know straight away, right? You go into a tournament, you go to training, you get to know what your levels are. But as a fashion brand, how do you know you're going to be good, right? You have to you have to you have to waste so much money. You have to lose so much money. You have to um, sit around making products that no one buys and wasting material and, you know, polluting the earth before you realize that no one wants your brand because there's 12,000 designers and stores out there, right? And there's and again, there's some brands out there that people will just not stop buying, like, right? One one case in point being Supreme, right? Like, you have to... some. How are you going to somehow get a Supreme kid to buy the clothes that you're making when they're going to be loyal to Supreme until the day that they die? It's very, very difficult, man. Again, so that's a, that's another conversation for another time, isn't it? Like the the lack of the lack of talk when it comes to fashion. No, sorry, when it comes to talent in fashion, it doesn't necessarily get spoken too often about. People are always like, you know, they always have to do, they always have to make it seem like it's a cheat code, like somebody's cheating the system. But even if you're like, you know, maybe like a Virgil or maybe like a a few other people, maybe like a, a Demner at Balenciaga. Like they're just making, you know, it's a cheat code. Like they're not really making stuff people want. No, they are. They are. There's a lot of brands that to choose from. If people are choosing them, it's because they're speaking for the times. They've actually found a way of like tapping into what's going on and delivering the product people will actually want for that moment in time. And I guess you know that's that that is in that is in in essence what uh, it may be to have that in essence what it is to have talent in fashion in some way, shape, or form. Um, continue. The formula behind the index takes into account global list and Google search data, conversation conversion rates and sales, as well as the brand product social media mentions. So I like that it's including sales and their mentions all together. So let's see. Here's the top list. Surprise, surprise. Oh wow, Q4 is, is number two. Nice number one. It's overtaking Gucci. Mama mia. Mamma mia. <laughs> he's up white stuff is fucking crazy, isn't it, Virgil? He literally he could literally turn as I'm saying he could he could literally turn it into like a studio where he's just able to just stamp it onto I guess maybe kinda of goes back to his old uh, premise that it's gonna be a brand that lives on um after he's gone or it's gonna it's a brand that's kind of as much as it's a brand that is as much as the consumers as it is his. They inform what goes on because, you know, he sticks he sticks the off white logo or even just the name next to an Evian bottle, it sells out. He sticks it next to a pair of um, UNC Dunks or, you know, whatever Dunks they may be or SBs, they'll sell out. He st sticks it on the side of a Carhartt trouser, it sells out. It's just insane, isn't it? It's just, it's like um, it's like a modern day fragment of what I think. We know when fragment was at, at this pinnacle and, you know, they just used to make a stapler and it'll sell out in minutes or maybe even a baby nape in that regard, right? I bought baby nape sellotape. That's how good that brand was, right? And they made me buy sellotape. They made me buy fucking sellotape. So again, um, Off White is number one. Off White teamed up with Mitsuporta to launch an exclusive collection. Four thousand people joined a waitlist for Virgil Abloh's reusable water bottle. Mamma mia, four thousand people. In coverage of matches and Evian. Abloh designed custom pieces for French rap duo PNL. Yep, I saw that. Um, Gucci number two paid homage to Old Hollywood with his Gucci Showtime campaign. The brand launched Gucci Change Makers, a scholarship that aims to inspire, help African American communities in, Af in North America. I wonder why they did that, eh? Um, it has a ten million a new program. Balenciaga number three in February, and com Cedric, especially considering the are they they all basically the same price point, are they? Right? I guess a pair of jeans from each brand would be about seven hundred dollars. I'm assuming, wouldn't it? Right? I assume so. Let's actually see if that's true. 
could you get i'm assuming all every gene a gene from uh, some genes from um a pair of jeans from Off White, Balenciaga, and Gucci will probably be all the same, the same price. I'm assuming so, right? Let's see if this is true. Mamma mia, man! They are making bucks. Uh, da, 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 United Kingdom. Let's see if I can let's see if this works here. So let's go in here. Let's go, in men, men, right? Oh wow! I love random identities. Um, the brand's really nice. Anyway, let's go to Balenciaga. Let's go to Gucci. Where's Gucci here? Gucci's there. Let's go to Off White. There and then see how much. Because I'd imagine they're probably they're all around the same price. The gene was top three, right? They're all probably in the same price bracket. Again, that's a very smart thing that they um, all three brands did, right? They went out and they. Um, it's something I think uh, even Sammy Ross from Cold War has done, which I think is a, another sign that he's going to be, you know. I think um I think uh one of the ladies from Show Studio said it right. He's like it or lump because I think a lot of the Show Studio kids, the interns, they hate um a Cold War and Simon Ross and stuff, you know, because you know those students are a little bit, you know, they have a different view on what fashion is or whatever, maybe. But I think I remember her saying something along the lines of uh, she reckons um uh, a Cold War will end up being like the Armani of the London um, crew, right? They'll just be able to kind of just sustain, uh, be a, just a behemoth like money maker, just be making, you know, everything from suits to tracksuit bottoms again and again and again, season to season. It'll just, it'll just be like a world old machine, how they're essentially running it. And one of the things that I really like about those guys, which is maybe similar to what Jerry, Jerry Lorenzo is doing with Fear of God, is that they automatically put their pricing at the bracket that they kind of want to be around, right? They want to be on the shelving rack next to Imagine if you're fear of God, he wants, he thinks his brand is as good as Visvim, right? So he prices his stuff the same as Visvim. And then obviously to back it up, um, the same level of production it goes into or attention to detail goes into his jeans, his t-shirts, his try. It may, it may not be your taste, but you touch some of that stuff in real life, you're like, ah, oh, okay, I get it. If again, it's maybe a little bit overpriced or maybe out of your price range, but you understand why it's of it's in that rack. And I think um Off White have done a really good thing in that regard too. Although Off White, the only thing I'll say is that on on it doesn't really translate as well on the screen. It doesn't look as nice on the screen, which maybe the same you say about Balenciaga, right? Their 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 blue jeans don't look, you know, they don't look like dissimilar. You maybe it's something you see in Rocket, but I think that's a really good trick, I think, um, to do if you want. Again, not a trick, but something, a good thing to kind of enter the market into. But again, because you have to back it up with the actual good product, but, you know, at least kind of line it up with it makes a lot of sense. But let's see how much their jeans are, right? So I think I think I might be right in this regard. So let's uh, show this on screen. So here we've got Balenciaga. Look, every, like, you know, so much stuff here I'd buy straight away in a heartbeat. Those black boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how much their pair of jeans are. Do they have a pair of jeans here? Yeah, can... Okay, cool. A pair of jeans, $444. It's about, I mean, 444 pounds. Cool, 500 pounds about for a pair of jeans. That green suit is so nice from Gucci, from Gucci right? That double-breasted one there, so, so cool. Um, let's see what a pair, how much a pair of jeans from Gucci cost you. Um, those jeans have got holes in it, but a 1,000, so maybe a little bit more at Gucci, I think, right? Let's see, they have just a pair of just some jeans on here. They must have a pair of jeans, right? Let's just go with those ones anyway for now. I don't want to look too deep into it, but let's go with these jeans here, right? These jeans here are about a thousand, so a little bit cheap, a little bit more expensive than the. Okay, got black skinny jeans there. Black skinny jeans are about the same price too, five hundred pound. And then let's see off white. I'm assuming it's going to be the same price as well. Yeah, four hundred. So all in the kind of the same sort of price bracket in terms of jean, in terms of jean sizes, right? A pair of blue jeans are in the, probably about the same price bracket. Wow, amazing. Anyway, go back to the list. Um, so they've got here top three, those two, and then f number four, Valentina, which I'm interested to see there. Valentina gave Birkenstock a high fashion spin. Nomi Campbell made a red catwalk appearance to close the hot couture show. And custom Valentino gal that uh, Brie Larson wore at Captain Marvel premiere. Oh, did they, Valentina, did they, is that the same collection with um, Undercover? It might have been, right? Collaboration Fendi number five, which is again interesting to see there. The pink velvet Fendi. It's going to be matching suit wear, but oh yeah, that's true. Jason Momoa, Oscars broke the internet. The brand uh, mourned the death of creative director Carl Lagerfeld and paid tribute to his 54-year-long 50, tenure. Mamma mia. He's there 54 years. All right. Prada has done really well, especially with the Perola, whatever that, that tracksuit kind of... Um, you know, subdivision line that they're making at the moment now is reading really well, especially in Europe. Gigi Hadid was announced as the new face of the brand. Part of CEO Patricio Bertelli announced in March that the house would stop doing markdowns and effective immediately. A new div diversity council was created following the backlash of criticism via the Prada shirt. Sab uh, Samboism, Key Ring, Stone Island. It's number seven. 
Stern continue its collaboration with Supreme, dropping the hot anticipated Spring Summer 19 collection in March. The brand released a one of capsule collection of bags with Japanese accessory brand Porter, which I love, which were extremely available, exclusively available so Stone Island's app for six days. Again, which they've done really well with their app and it online store. It's a really, really nice experience. Um, Versace's dropped down from, it was at six and that's at eight. They deb- debuted their new Cross Chainer sneakers and launched free. What's Cross Chainer? Is that the ones that um, Two Chains done? Yeah, maybe I think that's the one. Yeah, they're really popular. Rappers love wearing those shoes, man. Um, not for me personally, but they love those shoes. Italian House announced it will be uh, holding an event in a newly opened boutique during Spring Summer Twenty. Uh, Petit Umo shows in Florence, which will be celebrated thirty years of the new house. Vetements number nine. Wow, they dropped down quite a bit, innit? Right? Oh no, no. Well, they were eight in them last uh, last quarter. Um, a range of sunglasses in collaboration with Oakley, the Spike Runner 2 200 sneakers in collaboration with Reebok, and the release of a denim sportswear hybrid collaboration with Levi's. So, loads of they do, they, do, that's, they follow a lot of the Supreme models, isn't it? loads of collaborations they do, innit? Like, if they can't do the thing on their own, they always collaborate with the best producer of the thing Oakley, uh, Reebok, Levi's. Same with Supreme, innit? When they, they don't do collaboration with sunglasses anymore that often because they obviously have been able to kind of get the resource to make them themselves to a high level or maybe they're doing or maybe it's a white label thing i'm not too sure but they still do collaboration with stone island still do a collaboration with vans in terms of making the rock and nice sneak which again might evolve over time they might end up start doing it. or maybe because vans is a heritage thing i'll imagine i'll interested to see if they end up doing that themselves one way or the other and then number 10 is saint laurent designer anthony vaccarella who a lot of the fashion pundits are not fans of but again he just sells good clothes partner with rapper travis scott creating of the outfits he won the video for can't stay uh demanded the classic monogram envelope chain wallet continues to drive sales worldwide wow amazing man those are the top again just to break into that it's just a must be fucking amazing feeling if you can do it as a brand 12,000 designers and stores online and somehow you end up being on the top 10 out there and then the rest of them is made up of nike burberry montclair givenchy dos gabbana yeezy which is number 16 from number 12 uh balmain palm angels again interesting that's on there but i think it does they do really well especially those track suits and those slippers and sketches they do and the jeans and the um kind of copy of the saint laurent wyatt so do really good too adidas is 19 wow quite low in the rankings isn't it maybe it's to do with the maybe it's just to do with just the fact they only do the trainers right because nike have a lot of collaboration with clothes and stuff especially if you look at the stuff they've done with elix and with those other kind of brands and the union the ambush collaborations the cactus flat cactus palm flower flea market shoes that are coming out recently too um yeah interesting to see that hey, this is so low in it in the list maybe because again lack of collaboration with shoes as animal queen number 20 again another interesting choice there but i recommend you check it out really interesting in there it's kind of breaks down essentially what's popping um the hottest women's products again which are interesting here is oh okay interesting to see this right hottest women's products probably don't correlate to men i wouldn't imagine but um the hottest women's products here number one we've got the alexander mcqueen oversized sneaker which i'm a big fan of i wasn't before but i really do love it this prada studded emblem headband which i don't know why that's popular but you know as it is gucci logo belt which i see everyone wearing the jack moose the la chiqueta bag i've seen that the sandy liang um serling jacket is everywhere but i've seen copies of it that aren't you know obviously from her uh fendi uh baguette bag i've not seen that before the nike pro hijab really is that really popular okay i didn't know that maybe um, loads of Middle Eastern women are getting into health and fitness and doing that, but it's again, it's a, it's a really, it's a no-brainer really for Nike making those kind of things. The Gucci A sneaker is again probably sells itself. Uh, the Prince of Shola tie dye turtleneck, I've not seen anyone wear that, and the Chloe Sawyer slides. Uh, okay, probably quite nice there. Those are top ten items. I wonder what the men's ones are. Probably going to be Balenciaga triple S's, um, Gucci belt. I'm not sure what it will be actually. What, what would the men one be? Hmm. Do they have the men here? They don't have the men. Oh, yeah, there's the men. Really? <laughs> you know, the interesting about it is, right? Uh, the, the, all the, the, men's sneak, the men's items are all sneakers. Is that true? Everything that men want is just sneakers. They don't want any clothes. We're, we're trash, aren't we? Uh, the Nike React um, 87 is number one. The Yeezy Boost uh, 700 V2 is number two. The Air Force One, number three. The LDV Waffle Sakai number four, they're really popular. They're gonna come out tomorrow, you know, today, I think on Dover Street. Um Reacts Element 55s. What's the difference between 55s and 87s? Is the soul bit thicker? Um New Balance 997s again um, for the Stokey Dad. Converse Chuck Taylor All Star against Stokey Dad. MX 97 98 Supreme. Interesting choice there. Fear of God one. 
and the Veja V10s. I think Rick Owens is now doing the Vejas, right? Because they're, they're, that's a vegan shoe, right? I think they're vegan. I'm pretty sure they're vegan shoe. Um, I'm pretty sure um, he's kind of stepped away from doing collaboration with Adidas. And they're just collaborating with Vejas going forward. And Birkenstock, of course, who's they've done a shoe with. You just see how they do a Rick Owens. How they make that shoe look cool. Because that shoe is fucking ugly as shit. And if they can make that Vejas look cool, I'm definitely buying it. Because I'm a Rick Owens fan, boy.